Welcome to Rush Hour and its close friend, an infuriating phenomenon known as traffic. If you're unlucky enough to commute in New York City or Los Angeles, you could end up spending the equivalent of three weeks per year stuck in traffic. Drivers know that accidents, construction, stalled vehicles, and just the sheer number of people on the road all contribute to traffic. The real culprit, however, is speed, or rather, sudden, random fluctuations in speed. When drivers travel at a constant rate, traffic flows freely. But when even a single driver hits the brakes, the flow is interrupted, causing a chain reaction among the vehicles behind that driver. Those vehicles must slow down to avoid a collision, and then speed back up to restore the previous flow. If the change in speed isn't too drastic, this leads to what physicists call synchronized flow. A traffic jam occurs when drivers brake abruptly. This causes the vehicles behind them to slow down or even come to a stop. Vehicles enter the back of the jam at a faster rate than the slower moving lead vehicles can accelerate out of it. The result? A traffic jam persists until the volume of incoming vehicles drops low enough to allow the lead vehicles to restore the flow. So what can be done to prevent traffic jams? Roads can be widened, and traffic signals can be better synchronized. And researchers like the ones at Google can build driverless cars that travel at more constant speeds. Of course, ultimately, the only way to really avoid traffic is to stay off the roads altogether. For Scientific American's Instant Egghead, I'm Larry Greenmeyer.